welcome to our summer story and for today's video i am going to share tips on how to travel to china okay so i have few tips guys that i wish you know someone bago kami umalis was able to share online through video man or blog so that i would have an idea so Kaya, napag-isipan mong gawin ng video na to para at least you have a reference and syempre, it's gonna be easier for you. Okay, so while also discussing all the tips, gagawin natin to. Okay, this is the globe that I bought sa isang local shop sa Nanluu Shang, something like that, na uh, may mga food, ganyan. And nakita ko to and I find it unique. And I searched it online as well. Um, available lang siya in China and Hindi ako sure kung sa Hong Kong meron. So, I bought this. So, gagawin natin siya ngayon while I share to you the tips, okay? So, number one tip, guys, is if you're traveling to China, no, especially in Beijing, I suggest that if you bring US dollars with you, pumunta kayo sa branch of account ninyo na bank, okay? And have your money change kahit $100 lang na you won, okay? So, $100 is equivalent to around mga 660 plus you won. So, pag maganda ang rate, mas mataas siya, okay? Now, bakit? Bakit sa Bakit kailangan namin magdala ng you won? Ito guys ha, um, ito yung malaking mistake namin na ginawa. Cause when we arrived there, nakalimutan ko, we need you want to pay for a ride from the airport to the town. So, um, what happened was, paglapag na paglapag namin sa China, besh, lugi na agad kami ng 500 pesos. Bakit? Okay, since nga uh, we don't have you one, then we were forced to have our dollars changed doon sa money changer. And pagbaba nyo doon sa like kinukuha na ng luggage there's a currency exchange done stay away from it guys kasi aside from total rip off na service charge sobrang baba ng rate nila nung nagtanong kami doon parang yung yung matitirang money sa amin is just 540 U1 after the the service charge and all that 540 U1 so imagine magkano lang yon let me go and check. Let me get my, my calculator. Exchange rate kasi is um, 7.4 okay, per dollar. So 540 times 7.4. That's 3,996 pesos lang. Just imagine that supposedly you have at least no 5,000 pesos. Kasi you have $100. Eh. So sabi ko no. Dumabas kami. Went out, we went out and we saw another currency exchange, okay? And she gave us, the girl, the rate of $666 uh, U1, I mean, for per $100. And then, dinidak niya doon yung service charge na 60 U1. So, natira sa amin is 606 U1, okay? That's 7.4. 4,484. I-round off na natin. Sabihin na natin, guys, 4,500. So, lugi kami ng 500 plus. Bakit? Kasi they charge you 60 U1 per transaction. ba? That's a lot of money already. And also, since, diba, I mentioned na yun na nga, um, $100 yung papalit mo. The next day, pagdating nyo doon, find a bank a local bank kasi maganda ang rates nila doon kayo magpapalit sobrang dami ng mga local banks around guys guys sa titirhan niya siguro meron doon doon kayo magpapalit okay so tip number 1 di ba sabi nga si mentioned if you're bringing dollars with you magpapalit na agad ng U1 enough for you to cover yung fare mo from the airport papuntang town and also yung food mo the next day okay. number 2 guys na um, sa suggest ko sa inyo is print your hotel reservations and make sure na may Chinese counterpart siya. I mean Chinese, yes. Yung parang mga, like, let's say for example, yung pangalan ng hotel mo is Smile Hotel. Tignan mo ng mabuti kung meron siyang like Chinese characters. 
na nagsasabi din ng Smile Hotel and the address. Para kahit anong mangyari sa inyo, papakita mo lang siya sa mga like mga information office or ganyan, matutulungan nila kayo. Okay? The third tip guys na masasuggest ko sa inyo is for you to buy a SIM card. Okay? Kasi di ba nahihirapan nga tayong mag-travel like sa mga, mga countries na talagang naging English sila. What more pa sa China na parang most of their locals talaga guys don't speak English. Okay? So it's really important for you to have an internet connection kasi kung hindi talagang mahihirapan kayo. And uh, of course, I've done my research, sabi mo nga. And may naka nakakita kasi ako guys ng um, like Wi-Fi devices that is charging you 360 pesos per day, VPN ready um, Wi-Fi na siya. Okay, so meaning to say, hindi mo na kailangan ng other apps para magamit mo yung Facebook, um, Instagram and all that. Now guys, if you're not aware pala, pag pumunta kayo ng China, ba, hindi kayo, hindi tayo pwedeng mag-open ng Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Google, ganyan. Hindi mo yan ma-open, not unless you have VPN app. Okay? So, kaya nga, as I mentioned, meron nagbebenta ng mga Wi-Fi na VPN ready, but it's kind of expensive. But if you buy yung SIM card, it's just 850 pesos, and I think good for 8 days na siya, guys. Unlimited data. There's a lot of um, Facebook pages na nagbebenta nong. I'll put the link uh, on the description box below para may reference kayo. 850 pesos and it's already VPN ready. Okay. I insert mo na lang siya doon sa phone. For as long as the phone is open line, pwede na siya magamit. Pero ako, since kami naka-plan, we, what we did was, in-insert siya namin sa isang phone, okay, and then, hinat-spot na lang siya namin, okay? Also, know na yung VPN SIM card na yon applicable lang din siya sa phone na i-insertan niya, okay? So, pa, ano mangyayari ngayon? So, I suggest, kung katu yung gagawin niyo din, yung ginawa namin, mag hotspot na lang kayo, you download the Express VPN app pag iOS yung phone nyo. And, um, download you sa phone nyo. Mag-register kayo. They have 7 days na free um, trial. Yun yung ginamit namin. And it worked really well, guys. Wala na kaming, hindi na kami nag-login or nag, naglagay pa ng mga, uh, mga credit card details or whatsoever. Wala na. Diretso na siya, 7 days na free trial and nagamit talaga siya namin. Okay, so, yun. Number four, download Google Translate. Guys, this is gonna be your weapon, believe me. Ito talaga yung nagamit namin dun. Kahit nga may ganun kami, nahihirapan pa din kami mag-communicate sa kanila eh. So, download it. Ito yung itsura niya. Ayan. Tapos, uh, what we did was, kunwari may question kami. What I do is, I speak English first. Me, do you know how to go to this specific place? Tapos papakita ko yung picture. And pag nag-reply siya sa akin, guys, na gumagamit siya ng, may, may ginagamit kasi sa lang parang Chinese app na magsasalita siya and then papakita niya sa'yo yung sinasabi niya. And in return, kasi hindi nga siya nakakapagsalita ng English, tinatype din namin siya sa Google Translate, tapos pinapakita namin pabalik sa kanya, okay? Medyo slow, medyo hustle, medyo mahirap, pero at least in a way, nakakapag-communicate kayo sa kanila, di ba? So, it's really handy if you have a Google Translate with you. Also, syempre na-mention ko na doon kanina, download the VPN Express app. Kailangan niyo yun. Kasi, madali lang siya, guys. Say, for example, what we did, minsan kasi, syempre, pag nasa hotel kami, nagko-connect kami sa internet ng hotel. So, yung ginagamit namin, say, for example, nakakonect na kami doon, yung gagawin mo is, you open the VPN app, tapos mag-connect ka din doon sa either, yung ginagamit namin usually sa Japan or USA, and then, makakapag-internet ka na. So, madali lang siya, guys. Okay? And then, tip number six, uh, book your Forbidden City tickets in advance. Sa Klook, meron nun, guys. Yun yung pagkakamali ko. Kasi what I did was, talagang minsan namin yung parang pagod ka na, hiyaan mo na, um, doon na lang kami bibili. Or on the day na lang ako mag-book. I was not expecting 
affecting talaga guys ng sold out siya kasi allow 80,000 visitors. <gasps> Sobrang dami na like I was thinking 80,000 visitors. Come on. Do you know Ubo? Suggest that you ride a taxi at the taxi lane. Bakit? Ganito yon. Okay. If you're coming if you are coming from the Philippines, if you're riding Cebu Pacific like us, they only have one flight per day. And yung arrival non sa Beijing is 12:05. Okay? And yung last na biyahe ng bus from the airport to the town proper is at 1 a.m. Scam don guys. So pag may lumapit sa inyo, chun chun chun, just stay away from them. Hanapin yun na lang yung nakalagay dun na taxi bay. Actually hindi yun siya may miss kasi maraming pumipila din don na mga uh, tao. And then um, so mahay kayo din ng taxi, okay? The fare is usually, or the fare usually ranges from 100 U1 to maximum of 150 U1. Pag don guys, for sure na ano kayo, na scam kayo. <laughs> Pero yon. And also, ang advantage kasi pag sasakay ka sa taxi lane is that tutulungan ka talaga ng nag ng nag-assist sa inyo. So nung nung turn na namin, I showed the girl yung address. Sabi ko ayung pinrint ko na address with uh, Chinese uh, address. So nung so, makai kami sa taxi, kinausap ng babae yung taxi driver. And number and last of course, you buy yung katong card. Ito ito yun guys. Ito yon. Ayun siya. Okay, and uh, meron kasi siyang, nakalimutan ko eh, yung parang pondo, this one. So, we paid 40 yuan for the card. For the card, yung first namin siyang binili. Yung 20 non, pumunta sa pondo, and yung 20 yuan, yun yung nagamit namin na pamasahe. Okay, now this is refundable. Pero, unfortunately for us, kasi hindi kami magkaintindihan, pinarefund namin siya doon, hindi niya tinanggap. Because the girl was actually explaining to us na hindi namin siya maintindihan. She's explaining something to us na hindi namin maintindihan. So, sabi ni Irvin, sa airport na lang natin papalitan. Tapos, nung pagdating namin sa airport, guys, sabi ng lalaki, doon daw sa may specific station siya, I'll put the name of the station below, kasi hindi ko din siya maalala, Dong Dynam, something like that. Doon mo siya dapat pala pinapa-refund para makuha mo yung 20 yuan na um, nilagay mo dito. Guys, you need to buy this kasi mas convenient siya. Alam niyo yun, maglo-load-load na lang kayo. Then, tap, tap. Kesa yung every time, bibili kayo ng ticket. Parang ang hustle niya. And, um, also, don't worry about the fare because it's cheap sa China. Parang, yung mga malalapit nilang stations, they charge 2 yuan. So, that's approximately mga magkano? 14, 15 pesos. Pag mga malalayo naman, we were charged 5. Yung talagang dulong-dulo na ng train station yon 5 yuan yung chinarge niya sa amin. But it's still uh, cheap compared to ibang, ibang countries. Mas cheap pa rin siya, guys. And also, marami din na mga mumurahing food doon. Ang expensive lang talaga sa China is yung kanilang accommodation, really. Kasi yung accommodation namin, we paid parang yung amount na for like a magandang hotel sa ibang bansa. Pero doon, parang it's some kind of like parang hotel slash hotel. Uh, hostel, yung type ng um, accommodation na napagstayhan namin for the amount of money that we paid for. Pero okay lang yan, kasi ganun naman talaga eh. Diba? If you travel, you get to learn things. It's really good to like travel in different countries kasi na-immerse mo yung self mo to different cultures and you are humbled actually. Kasi talagang marami kang malalearn and Talagang huwag kayong matakot na pumunta sa mga foreign countries na ganyan na yung talagang may mga language barriers. Kasi doon kayo mag-learn, doon kayo mag-grow, not only sa aspect ng travel life ninyo, but also sa buhay ninyo as an individual person. Sa totoo lang talaga. Sa lahat naman ng napupuntan natin, we, we learn something, we get to bring home something, and that's our our consolation prize for all the the money that we spent, di ba, sa country na yon. So, 
um, huwag kayong matakot na mag-explore pa. di ba? And, uh, yung mga, like, mishaps, it's part of your trip. Wala namang perfect. Not unless, di ba, mga, mga level mo yung mga talagang bonggang artista na lots of money, di ba, para may mag-prepare na ng itinerary and all. Gagawin na lang nila, eh, gumising at pumorma and then they're good to go. So, hindi tayo ganyan. <laughs> Normal na mamamayan lang tayo ng Pilipinas na kailangan ding magtipid-tipid best, di ba? I know you're here because you're planning to travel to China in, who knows, in a week, in a month. And you have questions that haven't, haven't been answered. So, guys, I just hope na nakatulong itong video na ito na masagot kahit isang tanong lang na meron kayo dyan sa listahan ninyo. At... Uh, um, yes, if you have other questions, just feel free to comment them on the description box below. I'll try to answer it for all of you. And, um, yes, I wish you well. Sana mag-enjoy kayo sa China trip ninyo. Kumain ng maraming Chinese food. But guys, please, please don't forget to hit, hit the subscribe button. Andiyan lang yan sa baba. Okay, and, um, ring the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever we have a new video. Guys, again, magdam, huwag yung salamat sa pagtanaw sa aming video. Sanin, hindi ka mong matakaan. Again, um, thank you so much and bye!